while a polar vortex descends over us this weekend, what allows me to stand outside this morning is the fact that this service was pre-recorded from the Church of St. John the Evangelist in Elora. Today I'm joined by Jurgen Petrenko and Heather and Lanny Fleming from the parish choir. Our reader, Ken Reed, was recorded at a separate time. It's Mother's Day, garden centers are open, it's 75 years since the Second World War was officially declared over. And it's the patronal feast day of St. John the Evangelist. So there's much to be thankful for. The flowers today are given to the glory of God in recognition of all of our mothers and in loving memory of all of those Canadians who paid the ultimate sacrifice of their lives in service of their country during the Second World War. May their sacrifices never be forgotten. I trust that you are safe and keeping well, and as you view the service from your home, that you can offer it to the glory of God. The Lord is risen indeed, alleluia. Now come inside where it's warmer.
reading from the Gospel of John, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 44th verse. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my world has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge, for I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. Here ends the lesson. May I speak to you in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Feast of St. John the Evangelist, the 75th anniversary of the official end of World War II, Mother's Day, and the gradual reopening of things in our province, things like garden centers, are very good reasons all to make our hearts glad this morning. It's curious to me what I find small things that make my heart glad during these days. Looking out the window onto our back garden one morning last week, I was startled to see a bird that I thought I'd never seen before in my life. It seemed so exotic in its beauty and defined colors. So rare, I thought, to this region, that I carefully studied its appearance through the window so I could recall its features when I looked it up in my bird book. And leafing through the pages of my book, there it was, an American red start. But what was more astonishing to me was the penciled inscription in the top right corner of the page of my book, all in my script, which indicated when this bird was last seen here. May the 18th, 2019. Almost exactly a year later, here in our garden, this seemingly rare bird had returned. My heart was glad. But I had to be reminded of it to see it clearly. There are given and built-in cycles to our lives that provide us with structure, rhythm, and routine which are so intrinsically necessary for our existence whether it be the cycle of the seasons or the cycle of the Christian calendar, the lunar cycle of the moon and the stars in the sky, or even the simple rhythm of day and night. All of these natural cycles, particularly during a pandemic, are so important, I'm finding, to pay attention to, to wake up to, to follow the rhythms of. In fact, just so we don't forget, God has placed a cycle, a rhythm, inside of our bodies called a heartbeat. That cycle is so important to our existence. Jesus says, whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. And the commandment of God is life. I find in reading the Gospel of John, it's so much about seeing clearly, being in the light, and having life, even and particularly when we're in the dark. 
Perhaps that's why the first resurrection appearances of Jesus occurred early in the morning while it was still dark. So in a period where perhaps your usual routines, rhythms, and structures have changed, it's important to gravitate towards establishing new ones. Because like an American Red Star that comes back to the same garden a year later, it perhaps is these rhythms, these structures and routines that will help make our hearts glad help us stay in the light, and ultimately give us life. Amen.
large present in every place. We pray thee to protect with thy loving care our dear ones who are away from us. Let thy fatherly hand direct them, prosper them in thy way, grant them daily strength for their daily needs, and inspire in them an unwavering faith in thee, that they may live always to thy honour and glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue, we beseech thee, this his gracious work among us. Cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to the physicians, frontline workers, nurses, caregivers, wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience, and send down thy blessing upon all who labor to prevent suffering, and forward thy purposes of love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, the Holy Spirit, sanctifier of the faithful, sanctify this parish by thine abiding presence. Bless those who minister in holy things. Enlighten the minds of thy people more and more with the light of the everlasting gospel. Bring erring souls to the knowledge of God our Saviour, and those who are walking in the way of life, keep steadfast unto the end. Give patience to the sick and afflicted, renew them in body and soul. Guard from forgetfulness of thee those who are strong and prosperous. Increase in us thy manifold gifts of grace, and make us all to be fruitful in good works. O blessed Spirit, whom with the Father and the Son, together we worship and glorify one God, world without end. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>